My name is Dr. Mary Katani. I have the honor of directing the Children's Participation in Environment Research Lab. Um, and with me, I have members of our current team at UIC. We have been fortunate to have secured funding from the American Occupational Therapy Foundation to look at or examine the effectiveness and supports and strategies to implementing an electronic option for honoring and empowering families and capturing their expertise to be able to design a participation focused service plan and to be able to aggregate their expertise to guide decision making across various stakeholders within the early intervention service system. And so this has been an implementation research project by which we've undertaken a hybrid design to conduct a mixed methods approach to understanding both the effectiveness or the preliminary effectiveness of an electronic option called the Young Children's Participation and Environment Measure paired with a program specific decision support tool on service quality and then we've also then engaged stakeholders within that service system including families, providers, and program leadership to look at what are the supports, barriers, and strategies from their perspective to longer term implementation of this option? I'm Dr. Vera Kalin. I am now a senior research specialist at CPRL, and I was fortunate to do my PhD in CPRL at CPRL. And as part of this role, I was able to serve as the project coordinator of um, this project. Hi, um, my name is Vivian Viegas, and I'm also a research specialist at the Children's Participation and Environment Research Lab. And I think one of the biggest strengths of our team is that we really do have a lot of different people that have different ex expertise to come into play. So we have people that were completing their PhD program, we have people that have come in as a postdoc position, and then also we have people like myself and Diana that are research engaged clinicians that can really bring in a different level of expertise. So we're doing clinical work ourselves, but able to bring our clinical expertise to help guide study design and implementation throughout this work. And I think that that's one of the greatest parts about our lab is that we really value each other's expertise. And even though other people might have um, more work or you know have a different degree, we still see the value of mentoring each other and the things that we know. And I think that's been one of the greatest parts and um, we're so fortunate to be surrounded by women in science and powerful women in science that are mentoring each other. So it's been really great to be part of this work. Uh, my name is Sabrina Risk and I am a postdoc fellow in CPRL. I was brought in as a pediatric health services researcher to look at um, the different types of data that this study used in order to examine the effectiveness of the YCPEM. So one source of data looked at the programmatic data that corresponded with the EI program and the way that they collected data. Um, and that came in the form of a big data set. And as a pediatric health services researcher, I use big data in order to evaluate different outcomes such as that one. Um, I was also able to be a part of um, the project where I was able to analyze qualitative data but also then get to make it categorical or classify it like I would with a large data set. So it really helped to stretch my uh, large data set muscles in order to be able to use it differently and think differently. Part of the implementation research grant has allowed us to test the implementation of an electronic assessment option while concurrently working to develop or further expand that option to be paired with a goal setting application that we affectionately refer to as PEM plus, meaning it, plus meaning in addition to the PEM assessment, if caregivers so choose, they could be um, strategically guided online through a process of beginning to design initial ideas for service goals and ideas for action plans for goal attainment online so that they are empowered then to bring their expertise more fully um, to the table in designing a service plan. Um, and that latter part of work, the goal setting application, was um, in its formative phases of beginning to build prototypes and test their usability and feasibility was also funded by the American Occupational Therapy Foundation as an intervention research grant. And um, one of the key team members involved in that work 
was Diana Bosak. Yes, so hi, I'm Diana. And so I think this opportunity has really gave me a chance to, again, work in the environment like Vivian was saying and see how research plays into practice. Whereas in an academic setting, you always hear about how research is informing what we're doing, but I get to see it in real time. And so seeing how the assessments are looking to really engage caregivers in being family-centered, which is something that I think is one of my core values too as a clinician, and being able to give that expertise and thinking about how the strategies that caregivers are putting in and being able to see that in real life has really been beneficial. At this point, we have preliminary evidence, both on the effectiveness as well as evidence to guide our thinking about the scalability of this particular option uh, within an early intervention service system to warrant further both upgrades but also further testing um, within and across multiple early intervention programs and is a nice model of a bottom-up approach to driving um, a health systems intervention um, in the longer term within early intervention and centering the expertise of occupational therapists. That's the scientific um, sort of status of this work, I would say. I think what is oftentimes subversive in undertaking this work is the impact not only on the service system but on the trajectories of the individuals that will build and um, strengthen career trajectories that will sustain this type of science in the longer term and so these individuals here are a subset of our team that's had opportunity to have that formal investment from AOTF um, to earn credit for their contributions both to this phase of the work, but also to stimulate their thinking about the role of extramurally funded research to have the dedicated time, resources, and infrastructure to in explore and examine and create science and do it as a team.